All right, we're the Chance of Gaming podcast, and we today we are taking a look at Battles of Napoleon, the Eagle and the Lion. As we take a look at the box here, it is huge. This is the biggest board game I've purchased since Tide of Iron. It's huge, it's heavy, lots of stuff in it. Let's take a look and see. First up, you have the counter sheet, and as you can see here shortly, it is double-sided. So we flip it along around. The components throughout the uh, game here remind me a lot of the Command and Color series. Uh, Memoir 44, uh, Ancient, Battlecry. Only these are your uh, maps here, and they are very, very thick and double-sided. As we're picking them up two, or t two at the time there. These are your uh, rule books that you get. This is the Rules of Play, Volume 1. And as you can see, it gives you a breakdown on how to assemble your figures and what stuff means. And all the good stuff that an actual rule book has. It also has pictures of guys with mustaches. How can you go wrong there? More on mustachioed generals later. As we continue to flip through, you'll see you've got blue for French and red for British. But we'll get to that in a minute. These are the scenarios. Much like any historical board game... I am certain that they are based on something historical. These are your cheat sheets with your turn sequence here and a uh, <clears throat> another uh, book down here as well with a more rundown of the charts and rules. You get that in addition to a just single cheat sheet for the person that actually knows the game. These are your bases, as you can see. Different colors mean different things. And as you can see, there are two D10s there. There's the blue, French. The, I was really impressed with the quality of these miniatures, uh, how they looked, uh, and the red British there. They're done by an Italian company, and they're about eh, 20 millimeter, give or take, probably on the plus side. Uh, these are your uh, command cards that you get as to what you could do. Once again, uh, reminded me a lot of the Command & Color series. As you can see, they all look the same from this part on the uh, camera. So we'll look at the other deck where I'm sure a mustache awaits. Is there a mustache? <gasps> yes, a mustache. Look at that. Several mustaches. These are the actual damage cards and the cards for the, uh, the units that tell you what's what, etc., etc. And the last but not least is some dice that we cannot seem to get out. We can get one, can't get the other one. Get the British one, can't get the French. What does that all mean? I don't know.